This is Tailgate Talk, presented by Tarpon Blue. Let's take a ride. In this series, we're going to show you everything Texas and its surrounding southern states has to offer, right here from our very own tailgate. We'll take you from life on the farm and the ranch to the big city lights. This is Tailgate Talk. Come along for the ride. Hi, and welcome to Tailgate Talk. I'm Marianne Vickis from Tarpon Blue Real Estate, and this is Kylie Zockert from the Brontex Theater. And today we're going to highlight the Brontex Theater. How are you? I'm doing excellent. How are you today? I am doing great. Thank you. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Brontex? So the Brontex Theater was founded in 1942 by a group of citizens and it started as a movie house and movies were 30 cents to get in. And then it was a movie house up until 1998 and what was a well-furnished, beautiful, sparkling theater kind of turned into a smoke-filled room. I uh, got kind of a little crusty for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a group of citizens in 1999 rescued the theater from the wrecking ball, turned it into a nonprofit, and is now a performing arts theater that you see today. Wonderful. What kind of events could we see here? Oh, you can see all sorts of events from films to stage to music. We do it all. And we host corporate events on occasion. So, music wise, we have things like jazz from classic country to rock. It really fits all of your needs. That's awesome. So every, there's something for everybody. There's something for everybody. Yes. Excellent. It's a lifelong experience. <laughs> right. We call it what the generational gem is yes. what they were calling it. So, um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about you have done this capital campaign where there's still opportunities to give. But um, one of the things that you purchased was a movie screen. We did. So on October 8th of 2022, we will be using our brand new movie screen to showcase the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Fun. And we will have an interactive experience. It's going to be quite fun. All the party, all the drinks, all the fun. Excellent. And then in December, on December 3rd, we're going to have the Polar Express experience for people to come in at 2 p.m. or 7 p.m. to watch the movie on the screen. And then in between, we will have Santa to take pictures Aww. in the Railroad Museum just next door. That's perfect for families. Yes. So that sounds a lot of fun. Um, so what is your favorite thing about working at, for the Brontex? It's never the same day. There's, <laughs> always, there's always something going on here. And I grew up in a theater scene, grew up around the stage, and I was really excited to have the experience to work in a small theater that's so intimate and has such a great team behind it that are producing shows that you could see down the road in Austin or down the road in San Antonio, but you get to see it here up close and personal. And what would you like to see happen here in the future? Oh, in the future. So we would like to see a 22 by 16 foot video wall nice. on the back because we want to be extra professional where we can show things like the big game on Sundays, like oh, perfect for tailgate fun. talk. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. And then it also has the use of a theatrical background as well as uh, interactive props for stage performances. Wonderful. And I see that you also have volunteer possibilities. We do. All of our ushers are volunteers. We love them dearly. They all have a great time. We have little parties with them and you get to see the show on occasion for free. Oh, that sounds great. So if someone's coming for the first time, what would you suggest that they experience? Go to dinner. <laughs> go to dinner across the street over at We Satch or uh, go to Lone Star for a couple drinks. We like to support the downtown community and then come on Absolutely. down. Come get your seat and buy a drink at the bar and just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the night. That sounds great. Um, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about, there's a friend in our theater called Walter. Yes. So it, uh, there's a belief that it's haunted and there's even a special seat for him. Yes. We so there's have... nothing to be frightened of. <laughs> no. Walter's very friendly. We've had a couple experiences on the current staff with Walter. Mm -hmm. He likes to slam doors, but that's all that I've ever seen of him. <laughs> Um, but he's a friendly ghost. He's Excellent. our friendly neighborhood ghost. <laughs> Excellent. Is there anything you would like to leave the audience knowing about the Brontex? Oh my goodness. Um, there's something for everybody here, whether you're age seven, whether you're age 97, there's always going to be a show for you here at the Brontex. 
Um, why don't you let our viewers know how they can learn more about the events coming up and how they can help out? Sure. So all of our information can be found at brontex.org. Brontex is B-R-A-U-N-T-E-X.org. You can also call the box office at 830-627-0808 from Monday through Friday from 10 to 5. And we can get you all the information you need on volunteering, sponsorships, or our current lineup. Well, I cannot wait to see a movie here, especially on the new movie screen. So um, I highly recommend you guys visit their website. Um, thank you for being part of all of this. We really, really appreciate it. Of course. And we'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. Thanks for tuning in today. And thank you to our guests for sharing their story. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on, on Tailgate, Tailgate Talk. Talk. We'll tell you things.